Okay, so today, since my micro dot optic is not properly working, I'm going to take my mount for my Glock mounting plate off using this universal sight pusher made by Fissero. I'm using this on my Glock 17, but it says it's universal, so you should be able to use it for pretty much any standard handgun. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to remove your slide, obviously. Do a quick safety check. As you can see, that is safe. So, depending on what model of firearm you have, remove your slide in the appropriate manner. Okay, so I got the slide removed. And now... take out everything that does not need to be in the way. Okay, so to use this on your sights, depending on whether you have angled dovetail locking sights like this for Glocks or any other thing that's straight, one side of this has an angle to it, which you would want to use for something like a Glock like that. And the other side is flat, so anything that's flat can use it for that. So you're going to want to start by basically loosening everything up so it will turn freely using this Allen wrench that they give you. So loosen these up here, which I already did, this down here, and this here. Basically just loosen everything up till you're ready to go. So this will move freely back and forth. Okay. So this top piece right here is powder coated aluminum, but it should be fine. These two pins are plastic, so that will protect, and that's what basically holds it in place as this aluminum piece will slowly push your sight out of the rear of the slide. Okay, so we're ready to go now. Okay, so I'm gonna take your slide and raise this up so you have to loosen this to get it to the right height to where your slide will fit in there and then once you got that in place get your slide nice and secure in there you're going to want to adjust it get it into the right position to where that will push your slide out i would say probably center it would that's my guess um, so i'm going to go ahead and center that which I just did. So now you're going to tighten these top screws down, which are those plastic pins which actually hold the slide in place, securing it. Okay, so now that is secure. Okay, so I went ahead and I got it adjusted right to where it needs to be, to where it's just touching that dovetail, but it's not going to rub against the top of the slide when we do so. So now, let's finish pushing this thing out. Which, it's a good thing I noticed that that was going to happen, because it would have put a pretty mean scratch on my slide if I didn't. Okay, so now, we just continue tightening this down. Yep, you can see, it just keeps on coming. So it is working. And there we go. There that is. Now I'm going to make an adjustment and we're going to put the factory Glock rear sight that came with this back on. Yeah, so getting it started is just going to make things a whole lot easier. And you can get it started. Just that's all it takes. Just push it in. You know, yeah, see that's about as far as you can push it in without using a hammer or a tool such as this. So, let's go ahead and see this process again. So unfortunately, I didn't want to adjust these screws because I already had the right height set up, but to get this past that, these are going to have to come all the way out. Okay, 
So now let's put it in there. There we go. And we'll get this plate started. These Glock sights hang down way further than that dovetail with the screws for the micro dot I had on there. So it will not be as crucial to have this to the right height. It's not as close to the slide, so it will be a non-issue doing it this time. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten down these plastic pins here. Okay, that one is nice and tight. Actually, let me back off a little bit so that way the slide's just not touching metal. See, you want to have both of these plastic pins engaged on the slide and that keeps it from be touching the metal all by itself and then now let's secure this top plate again Not evenly <laughs> and remember we just want this snug we're not going to crank it down because those plastic pins are holding it in place. This is just to, you know, keep it from going up and down just in case. Okay. So now, all we got to do is just tighten that screw. And it will push those factory sights right back where they need to be. Okay, here we go. Let me get a better view for you guys okay see and it's just so much easier it was such a struggle putting on those rear sights without this tool so you have to use a hammer and then you got to be careful that you're not damaging anything in the process let me check it this needs like an eighth of a turn and it should be perfectly even. Alright, so now we're going to back this off. So we got this backed off. Let's push that out of the way. And then we're going to loosen this top plate. You won't have to take it all the way off now that the sight is centered. And then the final step is unscrew one or both of these plastic pins and then your slide should just come right out. And there you go. You see those marks right there? That's for me hammering it in previously before I had this amazing sight pusher tool. Which, if you look online, most of these sight pushing tools are extremely expensive. So when I saw one for this price, that's what got me to jump on it. Because I've always wanted a sight pusher, but they've always been out of my price range. <coughs> so I'm really happy that I was able to get such a good working sight pusher for such a great price. So I will go ahead and link that in the description. And thanks for watching and supporting my channel. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. Have a good night.